The Ant Block by far the most mysterious and the rarest block in the entirety of Minecraft. In the 20W14 Infinity Snapshot on April 1st, 2020, Minecraft released Infinite Dimensions. If you built a nether portal and wrote the word ant into a book and quill, then threw it into the nether portal, you would be teleported to the ant dimension. This dimension is an empty dimension with a plain concrete floor, and if you broke the concrete floor, there'd be nothing but the void. After further exploration, you would stumble upon a very glitched block, also known as the ant block. This block would teleport everywhere leaving a black trail underneath it and where the block spawned is a sign with the word patience on it. Now what is the meaning of this block and why is it so random? The ant block originates from Langton's ant but what is Langton's Ant? Now, Langton's Ant is a two-dimensional universal Turing machine. Now, if you don't know what a Turing machine is, I'll put the definition on the screen because I'm not a nerd and I don't understand what this means. This Turing machine has a very simple set of rules, but a complex behavior. It was invented by Chris Langton in 1986 and runs on a square lattice of black and white blocks. But how does Langton's Ant work? At a white square, the ant block has to turn 90 degrees clockwise and flip the colour of the square. Then it has to move forward one block. At a black square, it has to turn 90 degrees counterclockwise, then flip the colour of the square and move forward one block. This process is repeated until it creates this really weird pattern. After a while, this pattern repeats itself, and if you look at this section, it kind of goes on infinitely. But enough of this nerdy nonsense. Today, I decided to set myself a challenge, and this challenge was to speedrun getting the ant block. Now, the ant block is actually impossible to get into your inventory so I'll be speedrunning going to it. But in order to do this I need a perfect seed. A seed with a quick nether entry, a village at spawn and quick access to a book and quill. But anyway, enjoy the run! Ladies and gentlemen, it's run time. Now this is probably one of my most favourite seeds ever as it's so iconic as you'll see now it'll load in any minute. Right, it's loaded in. And this is where I slack off. I think I'm either answering a phone call or watching a TikTok but I should start the run right now yep i've started you can see why it's so iconic because on the right hand side there's a woodland mansion and they are so rare but the main thing we're focusing on is the village as i have to climb up this little dirt mound here with my terrible parkour skills but i managed to get up and i'm aiming for that lonely tree over there i go to mine four wood for my essential tools why this bee is trying to push me but anyway i mine the wood very slowly I get my wood and I quickly craft my crafting table and sticks and I, I do something quite clever here so I aim for this little farm over there and um, I go to get some food or one carrot and I hit the iron golem now I go on the composter place the wood and place a crafting table this is a quick way to gain height and a quick way to get all my tools so I get my iron axe and slowly but surely I kill the iron golem this is probably one of my favorite parts of the run because I just love seeing the iron golem die I'm not a maniac, I promise you, but it's pretty fun. So I get, I get the iron golem, and I'm pretty sure I get four iron, which is the perfect amount, because I need one bucket and a flint and steel. But yeah, I, I'm very slow at quick crafting, so here I am making a bucket. Uh, I fail to get the water for some reason, but I craft, oh, mine the crafting table, sorry, and I head off. Now this is where I head off to the library. Now the library is a quick way to get book. So I get my axe and I mine the book. Now the library is placed in the optimal location because right next to the library is a swamp. And the swamp is where I need to get an ink sack, I believe. And an ink sack is used to craft a book and quill. Now I get this one squid with my axe. He just waddles around the place. And I head off to get the chicken. Now there wasn't many chickens anywhere. But there was this one chicken that kept on spawning in this dark oak biome. And I decided to call him Harold. Not sure why. But he's kept on spawning in the same location. So I decided to go up here. And I'm sorry for the lag as well i've got a very high-end pc but for some reason it was lagging i think it's something to do with the snapshot but i think harold should be somewhere around here yep yep bye bye harold i get my feather and i head off doing some more parkour on the trees now, this is where i go to get the gravel and the gravel's located next to water now theoretically i could have got my squids here but because of the flow i just decided to get the gravel here so the gravel's on the side of the shore i get my shovel out and i start mining uh, the drop weight wasn't that bad, but I got flint quite quickly, I believe. Uh, yeah, there's my flint. So uh, I needed actually quite a few gravel to make my nether portal. But anyway, I used my parkour skills over here again to uh, quickly head over to the lava pool as I sort out my infantry. Uh, more hill jumping, and I just sprint jump over to the lava pool. 
you could admire the woodland mansion a bit more but i think it's pretty cool there's a woodland mansion there never really done a, a speed run with a woodland mansion but here i go over to the lava pool and i i'm not very quick at building a lava pool for your information i'm really really slow but uh here i am trying my best at making a nether portal it's quite hard you know <laughs> I tried to place a book down, but anyway, I use I place my crafting table up there because I I use it for crafting and it's actually quite efficient and uh, I think it's a clever thing I did there. But I build it the portal very slowly, uh, get my wooden pickaxe, mine the stone. As I fail to get the lava there, but this is where I make my flint and steel and my book. I do this relatively quickly, and I'm not a quick typer, so I just quickly typed in the word ant. I lit the portal, threw my flint and steel in, but I also threw the ant book in, and this is where I teleport in the world, this is the coolest part, the empty void, and now I remembered that the ant block is always to the southeast of the portal, so I head down here, and this is the long tedious process of me walking through this empty void, I try to spice it up with some parkour jumps, and I'm going straight through here, I'm running through the empty void, 4 minutes and 13 seconds on the clock you can admire my skin and the emptiness and in the distance you can actually see the little specks of the ant block and here we are we're arriving at the ant block right here 4 minutes and 25 seconds I'm here at the ant block this is probably one of my coolest runs and I'm sure professional speedrunners out there can do it faster than I could thank you guys ever so much for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed the run and as I said if there are any professional speedrunners out there who are willing to take the challenge then go ahead because I'm sure you can beat my time and slash it in half but anyway my social medias will be on screen and I'm going to stream every weekend on my twitch so please go check me out link in bio thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye